All right. Now, this part is just analysis of our answer. If I enlarge the picture to get this big cylinder, okay? If now you consider concentration of A, you should, our feeling would be the concentration of A down here is higher than concentration of A up here, okay? So if I say that this one has high XA and this one has low XA, am I right? So from high concentration of A to low concentration of A, it means that flux of A, diffusion flux of A, supposed to go up. Diffusion flux go from high concentration to low concentration. And diffusion flux is represented by J A star. Okay? We have J A star, which is diffusion flux of A going from high concentration to low concentration. Question is, do you think J A star at this position and J A star at that position should be the same? Are they constant? We know that combined flux Na is constant, but Ja may not be constant, okay? It depends on driving force because Ja star by definition is minus C dAB dxA by dz. We know that Total concentration C is constant. Diffusion coefficient is constant. But this differentiation term is not constant. It does change with respect to Z. So therefore, J A Z star is not constant. Okay? If I use the length of the vector to represent magnitude, do you think the length of vector here and the bottom and the top, which one is longer? Which one is longer? You think the top one? How do you know? So magnitude of JA right now depends on differentiation dxA by dz, right? So if you plot between z and xA, do you think at C1 and at C2 here, this is bottom, this is top part. We know that at C1, at the bottom, concentration of A is high. So it's high up here. Concentration of A at the top is low. Okay? What about curve in between? Do you think it's go this way or it's go that way? It's not linear for sure because our concentration profile like this is not linear. So that graph is basically the plot of this concentration profile. Okay? So concentration profile like that, if you have a plotting program like Microsoft Excel, you can plot into the graph easily. But of course in your examination, you're not allowed to bring anything like that. So, can you use your engineering sense to determine whether the graph should be number one or number two? 
one or two. Once you graduate, you always say you use sense. You never use knowledge. So I I like to see whether you have sense or not. So how many of you say it's one? One is supposed to be correct. Two. How many of you say it's two? What about the rest? Do you think linear? For one, number one means concentration at the bottom are pretty much the same. Does not change much at the bottom, and it changed a lot when it reached the top. For two, it changed a lot around the surface at the bottom. This one changed a lot. Then it remains roughly constant, high above. Which one is make? Which one makes more sense? It's one. Okay. Why? The concentration. If let's say, if you close the lid, okay, if you close the lid, the concentration of water. Does not change with respect to position anymore, right? It will reach equilibrium. Concentration will be uniform. When you open the lid, or let the system be open system like this, the concentration would drop. The reason that concentration drops is because of the flow on top. So it would affect the top part more than the bottom part. That's why it would be something like this. If you plot that equation, you get this plot anyway. Okay. Now, if you look for the dxa by dz, this is slope of this plot. The slope here at the bottom and slope at the top part. Which one is higher? Top part is considered higher slope. Okay, so higher slope means flux diffusion flux at the top part should be longer. All right. If you look for slope here, you should al also notice the slope here is negative. It's negative slope. That's why we have negative here, so that the whole part on the right-hand side becomes positive. Okay, the flux become positive. It means that flux J A star goes along with z direction. Our z direction is going up. This one is plus is positive. That means the direction will be the same. Goes along z direction. Okay. Now, if you consider species B, down here you have high X A. That means you have low X B, right? Simply because X A plus X B. Is equal to one. You have high x b, high x a, x b supposed to be low. Down here, you have low x a, so x b supposed to be high. You have high x, x b. Right. So from high concentration to low concentration, diffusion flux goes. We have x b up here to be higher than down here. That means j b. Star is going downward. Okay. Do you think J B is constant? Is it constant? Again, similarly, J B star 
should equal to minus C D A B D X B by D Z. C is constant, D A B is constant, but this is not. So therefore J B star in Z direction is not constant, but it's going down. Okay? This is J B star. So if you know the concentration profile of A, then you can draw a concentration profile of B as well. Because XB is simply 1 minus XA. Okay? So from here, when you have, whenever you have high XA, XB is supposed to be low. Whenever you have low XA, XB is supposed to be high. The summation of these two graphs is supposed to be constant. So you have this shape of the graph for XB. And slope here is supposed to be lower than slope there. So that means JB at the bottom is supposed to be shorter than JB up top here. And if you look for the slope, slope in this case is positive. So dxb by dz is supposed to be a positive number. And when you have minus sign up front, jbz is supposed to be a negative number. As I said, it's going negative. That means direction is point against the direction of z direction. OK? How about? If you compare magnitude of JAZ and magnitude of JBZ, which one is longer? Which one is bigger? I don't know whether you recall this, but we have talked about that earlier. We know that summation of J I is equal to Please don't say equal to JA plus JB. They are equal to zero. They are zero. We saw that before. Okay? This equation comes like this. If you have a system high concentration of A this side and high concentration of B this side. You know that this one has high concentration of A, this one has low concentration. Therefore, diffusion flux goes this way. This is JA star. Okay? For B, this part has high concentration, that part has low concentration. Diffusion goes from right to left. Okay? So if you look for A, a squeezed through B. On the other hand, if you look for B, B squeezed through A, the flux is supposed to be canceled. Why? Because the whole system is stationary, does not move. So movement of one species, in order to keep the whole species stationary, movement of one species and another is supposed to cancel out. That's the original of this equation. Okay? So if J A and J B add them together equal to zero, that's mean magnitude of J A star and J B star is supposed to be equal always, but in different direction. So these two vectors are equal in magnitude, these two are equal as well. Any question?